hi what's up how is it going today's video is gonna be a very creative you know moment you know i'm gonna take you on a journey on how to create you know uh an achievable uh engrave you know engraving on a surface so right now uh without further ado let's step into it so right now let's go over and just type you know uh engrave engraving engrave pattern engrave pattern so after I might have uh, <coughs> type that let's go over and just you know uh, change the font to Futura T it all depends on you you can use any font that you prefer so right now what you're gonna do is to hit ctrl k and your keyboard to break that into pieces then let's put in uh the engrave so right now you can see that so what we're gonna do is to make it bigger by dragging it from this angle so let's go over and just uh use our shape tool to uh reduce the tracking just like so good so right now the next step is to just you know increase the tracking of this pattern it has to range with the engrave center to the end of the engrave can you see that so right now let the trick begins so what we're gonna do now is to go ahead group that whole up then you go over and make a copy of the you know uh what's it called the test in which we have typed so right now go over and just click on this to appear that uh to unfill the test then you right click on black to uh give to set the outline of the what's it called the object to black so as this right now we uh really you know discovering something right here so which is not really so what we needed to do is to go over you can see right from here the overlay of the hardline of the test you know that shouldn't be so what we needed to do is to ungroup all of these then you select this it's control k to break it into pieces then you go over and select the whole thing come right click on it come back to curve then you go over to this place to wet it all up automatically it disappear it disappears uh the outline in the uh, overlay outline so right now what we're gonna do is to select the whole thing then we'll combine control help together can you see that so right now what you're gonna do is to go over and locate you know what's it called your shadow tool let's apply shadow so the object just like so so in this case you go play with the uh what's it called the sub uh task which is this if you want to darken it you can darken it right here if you want to further make it you know a bit you know feathering you know you can you know choose this i think all of this you know times are okay 50 15 that's right if you click on this that's outside of the this thing if you click on uh in you can see in a shadow good so right now our next step is to go back and just go back to object locate break in a shadow automatically it breaks so right now look outside let's separate it you can see how it is right now so what we're gonna do i think we have to go all over again so let's apply a shadow again to give it a perfect you know look so just like so good good can you see that so right now what you're going to <coughs> go over to object locate you know uh break in a shadow apart automatically it breaks so right now what we're gonna do let's click right here we have to make it you know uh four color so make it darker it's okay good so right now what we're gonna do is to go ahead and select 
let's select the main text not the shadow so let's send the shadow to back after that go ahead select the outline so this outline right now so let's go over to it on f12 let's make it you know two good well this is too sharp let's go ahead and make it you know one it's okay good so right now what we're going to do is to go over and just bring in on top of bring this on top of the objects can you see that oh so right now what we're going to do is to make a copy of this outline just like so go over and just let's bitmap all of this convert to bitmap locate bitmap convert to bitmap it's okay that's not right let's use rgb convert to bitmap select this place make it cmyk it's okay good so right now let's go over to our interactive field to transparency to rather so just go ahead to this place and change it to subtract that's too harsh let's make it you know uh let's make it uh multiply so after all of this what we needed to do is to go over and make a copy of that layer center it within the previous one can you see that so after all of this let's go ahead and just uh, bring in this make it center then you go ahead and make it you know black double click right here let's make it you know a bit darker it's okay so after all of that go ahead and just you know uniform that click on this good so let's go over and just you know go over to this place make it you know multiply or supply that's to uh, anyway good so let's go over and just lengthen that a bit good can you see that so after all of this what we needed to do is to go ahead and just bring in this so let's intercept it as if we are applying a shadow to that good change it to white so before we do that we have to set this in place to fit in just like so so after that make a copy of that downward as if you are giving a shadow to intercept it so after all of this let's select the main one or shift key and select the previous one let's go over and trim go it gives you this then let's change it to white so right now what we're going to do is to delete this main one then we'll focus on this which is a uh, shadow like so what we're going to do is to right click set outline to none then you go over and uh, convert to bitmap it's okay then we'll go over to our uh, objects go over to uh, effects locate blur then you locate feathering so right now what we're going to do is to feather that shadow like white just like so after that we hit ok good so let's zoom down then you go over and just delete this delete this good so right now let's group all of this convert to each map it's ok good so right now you can see the engravement of this you know you can see the outcome of what we created so far let's go over to adjust then you locate you know tone curve then let's go over and just uh, reset then let's just make it a bit lighter so so can you see that good 
so right now you can see the outcome of what we created so it looks engraved so here we come to the end tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking that button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what what i've shared so far so see you in the next video bye for now